Well, but I will guess what it is. It is I, Simba. And today we're going to do gameplay on Welcome to Farm Down. Almost the gameplay. So, yesterday, or not yesterday, the last video I uploaded, I said I probably don't want to do gameplays on Welcome to Farm Down. And I stand by it, but today there is a huge update. Uh, Smelly has revamped all the cooking and now the cooking probably won't suck as much it, as it did before so I thought maybe we could just try it out and I just make a video about cooking but it will be like a gameplay video because everyone enjoyed the last video I made in uh, Farming and Friends a lot of you are concerned if I'm going to ditch this game. No, I'm not going to ditch this game. I enjoy playing it, just I have done everything I could here, so sometimes it is easier for me to pick up other games too. It's not like someone is paying me to make certain videos. Nobody is paying anyways. Okay, so cooking is uh, different. We can go here and we can click on oven. So look at this. It gives us all the items and the levels and uh, the stuff we need to make it. Before it was like just figure out how to make stuff and it it was so complicated to make stuff. Just look now. Want to make bread? Just need flour. Easy. My only concern is that if there is going to be a long cooking time and I want to level up my cooking to whatever is the last item I need to five then I can make those uh, whatever we have here apple pie no pumpkin pie is for level five I believe it is pumpkin pie cinnamon rolls for level five then I can make those and I don't know if I only have like one oven how long it will take for me to level it up but okay we can see so we need flour I, I have no idea how to make it I should probably look up my own videos okay here we go chicken eggs I, I can do that <laughs> okay let's go check out the hell of my farm it's the chicken coop uh, eggs everywhere if, if any of you has ever played welcome to farm down with me then look at this mess we have here eggs floating we're gonna take like how many eggs do I need Crap, I get all kind of like different quality eggs. So, I, I don't know based on what the quality is different. Maybe the ones that float higher. <laughs> okay, stop. Now we go back and we start making omelets or scrapple eggs or whatever. And we will stay here until my cooking level is, is 10. I mean five. Okay, here we go. Cooked. Which one we should take? Let's make the scrapple decks first. But I think there is no freaking point to make scrapple decks. I think this is like the fried eggs is going to give you more XP, more money. It just takes one more egg. Just collect your eggs until you have two. Don't <laughs> ever make scrapple decks. But just for show guys, we're going to do it. Oh, it's ready right away. Okay, that's interesting. And I get quality of four right away. Okay. Very interesting. Carrot soup. Oh, this takes a lot of stuff. We're not gonna make it. I mean, we might make it later on. We're just gonna spam the fried eggs. Okay, and this is taking more time. I think. Is it taking more time? I'm pretty sure it took a little bit more time and gives a uh, lower quality item. But maybe the item quality depends on the egg quality, not your cooking skill. I have no clue. It's very difficult to tell based on what those uh, qualities go higher or lower. I think it is cooking skill. But then what's the point of the egg? Uh, I don't know. I'm confusing myself. 
I'm gonna get one bowl, five carrots, and one cow milk. Cows come here. Do I even have a bucket? Crap, where is my bucket? Backpack? Nope. Ah, uh, close it. Look how happy my cows are. Okay, I think I have one bucket here. I don't think I have any buckets here. But they don't have any blades either, so probably have to go to the store. Okay, with this video I want to see if I do cooking, do I actually make profit from it? Like, is there any point to do cooking? Okay, let me check it. I'm pretty sure we need balls. Okay, I'm gonna buy it since I already came here. Gonna kill myself. Look, here lies Roblox ABC channel. Smell if you're watching it, then please fix it because that's the most annoying thing ever. My last username was so cringe, and whenever I die, I have to see it. Thankfully, Smelly added um, naming your farm thing, and now I could change it to Simba Roblox YouTube. And if you spend the gold coins, you can do it right uh, here. Then I don't know how many gold oh five gold coins, then you can rename your farm to whatever you want it to be. Someone asked how to add workers, so if you write here like the person, like if I write here Vekiseki, then it will add him to my worker and friend and I can give him all the permissions here, like what he can do in my farm, like Take my furniture, smoke my beehives, name my animals, or you can just give them all the permissions or take all of them away. So here you can just manage that. I haven't probably made like a video about it, but yeah, that's how you do it. Because someone asked and then now I can direct them to this video and tell them that I explained it here. Okay. What I was supposed to do then? Soups, carrot soups. We need carrots. I think I do have some carrots. Do I have some carrots? I have two of those fridges. Let me see what I have here. Oh, level two carrots. The best quality ever. Wait, I have better ones? Oh, <laughs> never mind. Those are level one. Okay. And cow milk. I think I have cow milk too. No, I have water. The water is removed from the game, so if you guys... I think it is removed. We could actually try it out. Uh, make your axe is still waiting for you. Look, the carrot cake is so good, he actually wants to get it. What the heck? What? You're not supposed to do that. How? Okay, let me milk this cow. Stop escaping from me. Crap. Everything is working as it is always. No, 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 no. Okay, here we go. Look, this quality. Level 7. I never take care of my cows, but they give me the best milk there is. Good job, guys. Where are you going? Someone asked me if I think this farm game is better or the... Farming with friends. I must say that I haven't played farming with friends much, so I don't really have opinion. I think it's just different. I think this is like more personal farming, where you just walk around and do everything by hand, and there you just use machines all the time. So it's just different. And I just don't want to say anything that they will regret later on. Okay, let me see. Soups. Carrot soup, not carrot cake. And here we go, if you make it. Oh, why you're holding? <laughs> so it gave us 5 XP. That I noticed. I don't know how much the other ones gave us. Okay, let's make some carrot soups. If the other ones give you 5 XP too, then for leveling, the carrot soup isn't very good. Because it takes actually quite a lot of time to make it. Okay, we can't make any carrot soups anymore. Uh, let's make a scrambled egg to see how much XP that gave us. 
Th that gives us 5 XP too. So, I start to think that I'm wrong to be honest. I start to think that maybe just for cooking level, it is best to just do the scrambled eggs that take only one chicken egg. I think fried eggs are going to give 5 XP too. Okay, let's see bread. Bread gives you 5 XP too, okay. Very interesting. Now I'm going to get two eggs and look how much the last one gives, but I'm pretty sure it gives you 5 XP. And then I'm just going to skip this forward and I'm going to collect all my eggs and cook them and try to level up as much as I can and then I can see you guys when I'm cooking level 2 so we can make whatever this clothing is, muffin. Oh, we only unlock muffins, okay, very interesting. Fried eggs. I bet you not it's going to give you 5 XP. 7 XP. Wait a minute, but it's still smarter for me to do, if I want to level up, then it's smarter for me to do the one that takes 5 XP, because doing 2 of them gives me 10 XP. And I don't think I have unlimited eggs. If you have like tons of eggs, then it is best to... Oh, hi, my fridge is full. What do I do? Okay, let's go to furniture store. And just sake of this video, I'm going to buy myself a new fridge where I can put all the cooking stuff. Heck yeah. I'm surprised nobody's joining me today. Usually I have a lot of people around and I don't think I removed the... Uh, or maybe I did remove the option that people can join me. I probably did. Well, I'm sorry guys, sometimes it is good to do recording when you guys are not around because otherwise it is really difficult for me to like ignore you guys and at the si same time doing the recording. Okay, we're going to place the fridge next to this fridge, not like that, furniture, editor, place it, rotate it, I don't want it to be front of the window, good enough, I'm going, what the heck goes, what are you doing, okay, let's place them here, I hope everything will be different quality, then it will really take like all my inventory space. Um, okay, cooking stuff here. Oh, I do have some milk here. What the heck is this? So, I don't know if you can make a lot of those items anymore. What kind of function will they have then? No clue. Okay, I'm going to speed this forward. I'm going to collect all the eggs and then I'm going to do cooking until it's level 2 and then I'm gonna catch up with you guys. Okay guys, so I actually did cooking for longer, I used all my eggs because it looked you don't need eggs to do other stuff. And my cooking level is 3 and half. Okay, so what did we unlock? We got corn, bread, muffin, we're going to try to do that. And then we got the red apple pie and the pie crust. So for red apple pie you have to use pie crust and red apple okay so you still need to use butter that's interesting because i thought they're going to remove butter but maybe i'm wrong i don't know i also noticed that if you're cooking those stuff then quality depends on the egg quality i don't think cooking really adds anything only thing we still only two items we still have to unlock is pumpkin pie and then the cinnamon rolls. Okay, we're going to try to make cornbread muffin. And maybe we can even manage to make one red apple pie. I also want to sell all those items to see if they make any profit. And I think I had cornmeal here. Such a perfect thing to be honest. Exactly one. Just for this video. And now we can make the muffin. Heck yeah. Let's see how much XP does it give. 5. So, 
to me it seems like it doesn't really matter what you're cooking. Only, only one that gave you more XP was fried eggs. That gave 7. But then again scrambled eggs are better to make. Okay. Red apple buy. We need one red apple. That's easy. But we need pie crust. We need pie tins, flour and butter. Okay. We can do that. We make butter here. Oh, butter goes to the oven too. Does it real life? I I have no idea. Flower biting. Okay, I think I have biting somewhere. Had some here. Yep. Okay, gonna split it. Gonna just take one. Gonna put those here. And now we need flower. Did I have any here? I think I had some, but they put them in the fridge. Didn't I? I don't remember exactly. Okay, let's go and check it out in the fridge. Whoop de whoop de whoop. Not this one. Yeah, here we go. We take the lowest quality one. Just uh, faced it all. It's so much easier to do cooking now. Smelly has done a wonderful job to make this more fun. Because nobody really wanted to do cooking before. And... Oh look, it has a nice model. Okay, biocrust is here. And now we need one red apple. I mean, I have tons of those red apples lying around. Laying around? I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, we got one apple, the quality 7. And here we go. Let's see how much XP does that give. This gives 7. Okay, interesting. But if you want to level up your cooking, just get all those eggs and make uh, scrambled eggs until you're level 5. That seems to be the best way to level up. Okay, let me see what we have here. I should probably get the stuff from the other fridge too, then we can see prices of all the items. Mm, carrot soup. Yeah, let's take carrot soup. And th let's take... Fried eggs. Heck yeah. And bread. Of course the prices always depend on the quality you, but more or less we can box them and then we can see the prices. The apple buy is actually pretty good quality. I mean it says value underneath you. Scrambled eggs. We have a lot of those. We can just place them all here. Oh, this one is scrambled eggs too. And then we can box it. But I, I don't think it is meant to be boxed, like just use it as food and stuff. Usually I don't see much profit to be made with cooking. And that's why people don't really do the cooking either. They don't have icons that everything is work in progress. Oh, this one has carrot soup. I think bread has I can do and uh, apple buy. Cornbread muffin. Doesn't look. Oh, it doesn't have. It doesn't have anything. It doesn't even have work in progress. Bread is invisible. Okay, here we go. Oh, Apple Pie doesn't have icon. And now we have placed it all here. Now I can check out uh, the prices. The delivery fees are 60. Total value is 143. Net profit only 83. So yeah, there isn't any profit to be made with cooking. So if you do cooking, then don't sell those stuff like I do. No point to box it or just use it to trade it with people and I don't know what else you can do with those. 
eat it when you're m mining in the caves. I don't know if I can level up myself to 5 to Benas because I do not have... Oh, I could do bread. I think maybe bread is even better way to do leveling than eggs are. Because for eggs you have to wait until chickens lay them. But if I use bread then I only need to get flour and flour I could get from feet. Oh, what the heck, I already have so many wheat, never mind. I'm going to take like 500. And actually 487 is better because it's neat when it's 500 in the fridge. And I'm going to place it all in the windmill. Then going to skip it forward for you guys and start cooking until I'm level 5. And I'm back. Okay guys, I have done the cooking. I have made a lot of bread as you can see. And now I'm making the final bread here. Dun, 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 and my cooking is level 5 ok and we did it now I'm gonna click on cooking and everything is unlocked already so I have maxed out my cooking at least I, I could level it more but you can't unlock anything so we're going to try to make the cinnamon roll and pumpkin pie so we need to make another pie crust. Okay, let me get the pie din and butter. I should probably like look what all the stuff I need before. Where is my... Oh, here we go. Didn't I have milk? Oh, I did have milk. Stupid me. Then we only need to get the dye bin. I should probably look all the stuff I need before I run around. Otherwise I'm going to run around like a million times. But it's okay. My farm is really like well put together so I know where I can find every everything. We're going to make butter. It goes to fridge, not fridge, to the oven. Take the butter, buy, make a pie crust. I haven't made any pumpkin pies before so that's interesting. We're making the first one but for that any pumpkin. Oh I do have pumpkin. I have one pumpkin in my inventory. Why do I have one pumpkin in my inventory? Cane sugar. I took some cane sugar before. Here we go. One. Inventory. I don't know how I have all those stuff, but they do somehow. And pumpkin pie. Here we go. Let's see how much we get it. Get from this. Not that it matters. It gives you 7 XP. Look. Does this look pretty tasty? It's almost Halloween too. Okay, we made pumpkin pie. Now we want to make cinnamon roll. For that we need butter. I can make it. Crap. Cow is hungry and can't find any food. I have food for everyone, but I just can't find it for some reason. Okay, now I need cane sugar. Oh, I do have cane sugar in my fridge. Again, clearly. And then I need cinnamon powder. I believe I have some of it too in the shed. Mm, let me check it out. And keep closing this light. Yep, here we go. I'm even going to take all four. And now we can make the cinnamon and see how much XP that gives us. It goes into the oven. And it gives you 5 XP. Okay, we can now try to sell those and then I have done everything you can in cooking with such a short amount of time. Okay, box cinnamon roll. Did we only make two things? I thought we made something else too. Apple pie is already here. What did I unlock when I got to level 3? Okay. 
Let me check it now. Oh, we got cornbread muffin, I believe. So, pumpkin pie is 54. I guess if you do pumpkin pies, then you can actually make a bit money. And cinnamon roll is only 10. Okay. So yeah, this is the video and this is more of the gameplay type of video, not just like a tutorial. Let me know which one you guys prefer me to do. Like, do you like me doing those gameplay types or do you just like me to do tutorials where I'm making videos really, really short but giving you all the information that you need. Thank you guys for watching this video. Remember, the Haley Bad and the 10 gold coins giveaway ends on Sunday. So if you haven't watched that video and you haven't commented it and you want to win the... 10 gold coins and helibat and go there and do it right now and that's all from me if you have any questions or anything then just post them down below in the comments as always and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye